by showing you guys the new trees that I picked up here from Target this year. I love these felt trees. These were just so cute. They came in different designs, but I just love the hunter green color. I actually wish I would have picked up a couple more. I think I'm going to try and uh, get my hands on a couple more, but they were only $3, and I thought that was such a good deal because they're so well made. And then I had to pick up a couple more of these bottle brush trees. I didn't think that I had these in this color. I really love this green color. Um, so I picked up three of them. And then this tree here in the back that has like the burlap uh, covering over the base was only $3. And I picked up a bunch of these last year, but I just picked up one more I felt like I needed. <laughs> I love the flocking on them. They're really flocked well. And then these ones, they must be new this year. This three pack of this guy. They're like a smaller version of this guy in the middle. Um, but I love the flocking on all these small little tiny trees in like their little galvanized tins down at the bottom. I'll probably be putting them in something else. Um, but I thought that that was so cute. You get a three pack for only $10, which is a good deal as well. But I'm obsessed with all of the cute little trees from Target. So sticking with everything that I picked up from Target, I picked up five signs from Target and I love each and every one of them. Uh, this one here was only $10 and I can't believe it was only $10 because the quality is just out of this world and it's so cute. This one also, the graphic and the calligraphy on this, so pretty, I'm obsessed, only $10 from Target. And then these three signs up here in the front, I got from their Target dollar spot. This Merry Christmas one in the back was $5. This St. Nick's Tree Farm one here in the front, it's kind of like a shadow box with the bottle brush trees, so cute, only $3. And then this sign matches that one as well, and this one was only $3. So cute. I love the color of the wood on this sign. Also from Target, I went ahead and picked up these three guys. I feel like this was such a lucky find because these are so cute and not expensive at all. This Santa over here was $10. Same with the snowman, only $10 for these cute little light up things. Um, they caught my eye because they just look like they're vintage. Like this looks like decor that my grandfather would have had back in like 1983. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. I love how vintage it looks. Same with the snowman. He looks so vintage. And I'm obsessed with these two guys. I don't know where I'm going to stick them yet, but they are so cute. And for only $10, you cannot go wrong. This one was a little bit more expensive. I think this was $25, but it is so cute. I had to just get it because I couldn't taste the risk of waiting and then it not being available. I tried to get it last year. I seen it in somebody else's haul video last year, and they were all sold out. So this year I got my hands on it and I couldn't be more excited. Let's see what it looks like. So cute. Do you love these th three things? Mm -hmm. You love these pieces of decor this year? This is a good find, huh? Yep. Yeah. My favorite right here is the snow globe. The snow globe, yeah, that's Layla's favorite too. So cute. Yeah, we hear you over there. <laughs> All right, let's move on. And then here are the last few things that I picked up from Target. So I'll just go over them quickly. Uh, most of this, I think actually all of this came from the Target dollar spot except for the spatula. Uh, but look at how cute these little crafting mini wreaths are. And I, I picked up two packs of the crafting mini trees. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with them, but they were only a dollar, so I just threw them in the cart. And then this cute little stamp and ink pad. I'll put a stamp on all of the Christmas cards that I send out. So cute. And I just died when I seen these cute little ornaments. Um, I'm not going to be putting these on the tree. I'm going to use these for my Christmas tiered tray. And then they both come with the gingerbread cookie recipe on the tag. So that's so cute for only a dollar. And then I picked up this Merry Christmas spatula in red for only a dollar. And then three of these cute little glass tubes 
filled with different uh, crafting supplies. So we got the green little sparkly trees, red candy canes, and then just some white snow. And then I always pick up a pack of the Target Dollar Spot erasers for all the holidays. I'm going to put these in my son's e-learning station so that he has festive little erasers to use during the school week. <laughs> Um, and then I picked up a bunch of these painting sets. My daughter loves to paint these, and I pick them up for every single holiday. They're available at the Target Dollar Spot, and also Dollar Tree sells them as well. Um, but these were the designs that I picked up here. So this one's like a little fox, and this one is a bear. So not really like Christmas theme on these two. These probably came more from like their fall decor. Um, and then I had to pick up the unicorn. She's obsessed with unicorns. And then I picked up a bunch of the Christmas trees. So they didn't really have too much of a variety of different like designs to paint, but I still love to just pull these out anytime she's bored and she asks for something to play with. It keeps her occupied for a very long time and she loves to paint them. I also picked up this ornament kit set. So cute, you can make your own little ornament. Let me turn it around so you can see. It comes with like the snow, the little tree, a little candy cane and a Santa. So cute. So she'll have fun doing that. And then I picked up a pack of these stickers. These are the peel and stick pre-cut vinyls. Um, this one, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them either, but for only a dollar, and I'm always doing some kind of cute little craft, I could definitely go ahead and put these to use somehow, some way. So, so cute. And then last, I picked up this card from the Target Dollar Spot. It says Home for the Holidays. Um, I don't know who's going to get this card, but I just thought it was so cute. It reminds me of the National Lampoon car. Clark Griswold car. And then these two little baggies also came from the Target Dollar Spot. This one says North Pole Delivery. Do not open until Christmas. And then this one is just the plaid color. But so cute. Obsessed. to some stuff that I picked up at my local Marshalls. I love these Santa boots. Look at how cute these are. These I got for $19.99 and I don't know if I plan on like sticking something inside or just leaving them like this. And then on the side here it says Merry Christmas. I could actually do without the Merry Christmas right there. So I could possibly even paint that over with black. But I just love these boots. They're so cute. And then this uh, light up LED uh, neon reindeer sign was so cute. This was only $12.99 for Marshalls and I couldn't pass up on it. It's definitely going in the playroom and it's going to be so cute on the wall. And then last over here I picked up this basket. This was only $7.99 and I love the deer on the front. The deer silhouette. So cute. And I, I just love like the color of the wood as well. So rustic so rustic i'm kind of going for like the woodland rustic vibe for christmas this year so i'm trying to purchase more of like the wood the dark hunter green color and then just a lot of greenery and trees and things like that so um that's my vibe for christmas 2020 decor and i hope i can pull it off <laughs> And just some more random items that I picked up from Marshalls, starting off with this super rustic woodland vibe uh, picture frame. So cute. I love this. And this was only $5.99, and I couldn't believe that it was only $5.99 because it is great quality. It looks just like it came off of a damn tree, and this is totally going to fit my woodland Christmas vibe this year. I'm going to put a good Christmas picture in here, and then we are set. That is so cute. And then I found this sign at Marshall's as well for only $3.99. So cute. It says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. Cute, cute. I don't know if this is going to go on like a um, Christmas tray or what, 
I don't know, but it's so cute. And then I picked up some ribbon. This is the cute traditional plaid, red plaid ribbon. And this is gonna go on the Christmas tree, so I picked up two spools of that. It was only $3.99. And then these dish towels. I purchase dish towels every single holiday, every year. I always use the old ones from previous years, but any new ones that I purchase, those are the ones that I display for decor. Um, but look at how cute this pack was. This was only $9.99 at Marshalls. And then I usually never do this. I usually don't really uh, decorate the kids' bathroom, but this year I am going to decorate their bathroom. So I found this shower curtain, and it was only $5.99. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and... If we're gonna va if we're gonna decorate the kids' bathroom, let's do it the right way and go all out. So the shower curtain will definitely help us achieve that extraness that we're gonna be looking for this year. And then I also found these Ray Dunn baking cups and picks. This was only $4.99, and these are gonna be so cute in some Christmas theme cupcakes. I gotta find some good sprinkles for these too. And then I got the Ray Dunn coffee cup set. It says Merry Christmas. I've seen these for like the last four holidays now and I just never picked them up. But I figured I would grab them in case we were gonna be doing on the go Christmas lights. We can make some hot cocoa and jump in the car and be set. beautiful accent rug came from TJ Maxx and it was $24.99 I believe yes $24.99 and it is stinking cute so cute um, it's too cute I'm definitely not putting this outside this is gonna go inside by my front door I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and put like some scotch guard on this just to try and prevent like the lighter parts of the rug from getting all dirty. But yes, this is definitely staying inside. I don't even know if this can kind of like go outside. This is definitely like an indoor rug, um, but it's gonna look so cute by the front door. And I'm so happy that I found it at TJ Maxx. This is a good find. This is a good find right here, guys. Yeah, baby. So I picked up this rug from Marshalls. This was only $16.99. It's touch activated, so when you step on it, it has lights and music. It's so funny to have at your front door. I just kind of wish it was a different color. I feel like black, I hate black for a Christmas color. I really do, and I wish it was a different color. It would be so much better if it was, but I still thought it was so cute. And this rug was specifically made for outdoor, so it is that nice, thick, durable material, so. We should have this for quite some time. I don't know how long the music and the lights will last on this, but it's so cute. And this was a good find too. And of course this wouldn't be a Christmas haul without a Bath & Body Works soap order. I had Tony go to Bath & Body Works and pick me up some of their holiday themed soaps. And I just trusted him to pick up some good flavors and he really did. Flavors, I mean scents. <laughs> I trusted him to pick up some really good scents and he did a good job. So he picked up this cranberry peach one and it smells so good. The notes in this one here are sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and gala apples. And then he also picked up this twisted peppermint. This packaging is so cute. I love all the sparkles. So that will definitely go on the kids sink. And then the fragrant notes in this one here are the cool peppermint, sugared snow, and aromatic balsam. And then he picked up a winter candy apple, and the notes in this are red apple, winter rose petals, and candied orange. So cute. And I think this one is my favorite. I just kind of wish that this gingerbread pattern went all the way up instead of them doing this solid taupe color. Ugh. Um, but this one is Merry Cookie, and the notes in this are uh, buttery shortbread, vanilla bourbon icing, and sponge sugar. That sounds amazing. 
And then this one is Snowy Peach Berry. Packaging is cute on that one as well. And the notes on this are Snow Kissed Cranberries, Frosted Peach Blossom, and Shimmering Woods. And then the last one here is Marshmallow Fireside. This is a staple. And the notes, we all know the notes on this. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, and Fire Roasted Vanilla. I don't really like the packaging on this one either. I feel like they could have did better. I hate the black colors for Christmas. But the Bath and Body Works soaps are definitely a staple in our house for every holiday that they have the different themes. I love the packaging. It's the main reason why I purchase these. I think it's the main reason why a lot of women purchase Bath and Body Works soaps for their sink. It just, it's aesthetically pleasing. They smell divine and the packaging is always on point sometimes. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Um, and then down here he just picked up two of the wallflowers so he got this Mary Mimosa which sounds amazing uh, what are the notes the notes are sparkling champagne red apple slices and iced sugar crystals Wow that sounds good and then this one marshmallow fireside of course a staple and we already read the notes on that one so two wallflowers And on to a few items that I picked up from Walmart. <laughs> Look at how cute this cookie plate is. It's the gingerbread cookie plate. They also have gingerbread uh, teaspoons, or not teaspoons, measuring spoons out and available. I've seen them on Instagram, but I have yet to see them in store, so I am on the hunt for those. Um, if you get them, you are so lucky. They match exactly with the plate, and they're so cute. And then I also picked up these reindeer cups in the back. So you could put anything in these, milk, juice, water for the kids, and then they just have that cute little reindeer hugger that goes around the cup just to be super extra. And then I had to pick up a pack of the holiday minis. My daughter loves to have these as just a little snack. I stick them in a cute little cup for her. And it's perfect because they're the nice little mini size. I love the mini size. I'm and nice. then I also picked up a pack of the paper straws that I get for every single holiday that they have them available for. Um, this one is a mix of the red buffalo check and then just the solid red color for only $1.98. And then this is super cute table cover. I don't know yet why I picked it up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it was just too cute. Look at that car with the whole gang in there. 98 cents. I'm sure that will come in handy somehow. So just some more random items that I picked up from Walmart. Almost everything here on the table is from Walmart except for the gingerbread waffle maker. I picked him up from Target. He was only $10. I seen that they had these for Halloween. Like they had the Halloween theme ones and I passed on the Halloween ones. But I definitely got my gingerbread guy and they're so cute. And then I just picked up some more holiday uh, themed chocolates and candies. Um, that is one of my favorite things to do for the holidays is to go on the hunt for some different holiday themed flavor candy. And just to kind of see what I can throw on a charcuterie board or just do cute little themed breakfasts uh, for the kids with just some little mini holiday colored M&Ms and then the holiday colored sprinkles. It's just super simple and it definitely makes my kids happy. So, and it makes me happy. I love to try new stuff. Like look at these sugar cookie, these sugar cookie kisses look so good. Sugar cookie flavored white cream with cookie pieces. That sounds amazing. Sign me up. And then these are so cute. These little Russell Stover Santa's uh, Wonderland Itty Bitty Chocolate Mini Santa's. So cute. I got these last year as well. Um, these were perfect for hot chocolate or putting them on a charcuterie board or even just setting them on the plate after you have like cute little pancakes with some whipped cream, putting some little mini Santa's on the plate. So cute. And then of course the mini M&Ms that I showed you guys. And this uh, treat container, this plastic treat container came from Walmart. It is Pioneer Woman brand and it's so cute because it came with a little uh, recipe for shortcut peppermint bark. Um, but I love the design on this. Look at how pretty the Christmas tree is on that container. So cute and it says Merry Christmas to you on the top. I think this was only like $5.
Also from Walmart, I picked up some ornaments for the kids' trees. They each have their own separate tree that we put in their room, so I picked up some more ornaments for them to put on their personal tree. This cute little pink lollipop and this little poodle dog and the donut for Layla and then this super cute snowman. Look at how cute. So these are her four ornaments and then I picked up four for Tony. So he got this little hot dog guy and then a blue lollipop and then this little trailer. I guess that's what that is, a little trailer <laughs> with some lights, some Christmas lights. I just love the Christmas lights hanging off. And this one too, this little Volkswagen van. I guess that's what that is with a Christmas tree on top. <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, so I picked up some of these from Walmart. Most of them were 98 cents, but then the bigger ones like this were $1.98. So still not bad. Good pricing. Also from Walmart, I did go ahead and pick up three of their Better Homes and Gardens brand candles. This one is a staple now in our home. It smells so good. It's the Red Lava Citrus, not really a uh, holiday scent, but the jar is red, so it does match the decorations, um, but it just smells so good. So I had to pick up one of those, and then the Vintage Farmhouse Christmas. I've never had this one before, but it just smelled so good in the store. So I grabbed one of those. They didn't have it in like the big, nice frosted jar like this size. They had it in this one, so I just picked it up because it smelled so good. And then this one over here is the Warm Fireside Flurries. I absolutely love the packaging of these Better Homes and Gardens candles. Like, they are stepping up their game. I love it. So we're almost finished, oh, so sad. I only have a couple more things to show you guys. I picked up two of the rolls of wrapping paper from Target. Um, these were $2.50 each and they're so cute. And they look like they have quite a bit on the roll, so I'm very impressed for $2.50. You can always use a ton of wrapping paper. And then I picked up two rolls from Marshalls. So this one here was $6.99, a little bit more expensive, but it has a crap ton of uh, wrapping paper. Look at that, look at how thick that is. Um, so this is gonna be for the guys. I love the natural uh, rustic vibe of this wrapping paper right here. It's definitely a good guys wrapping paper. <laughs> and then this Santa unicorn one, how cute. My daughter's gonna flip when she sees it. She's right over there watching. Focus. She's right over there watching Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, but she is going to love this. Look at how cute. Yeah, baby. So cute from Marshalls and it was only $3.99. And it has eh, not so much on the roll. Not too much, but it was so cute. So we'll get a couple good uses out of that one. These have not, to, not too bad, 250. Look at all that wrapping paper you get on there. And then the last few items that I wanna go ahead and show you guys came from the Dollar Tree. Look at how cute this white bucket back here with the trucks on it is. It says dashing through the snow, only a dollar, so cute. You can never have too many buckets or storage containers. And then I picked up these two like snow globes here. We're gonna DIY some snow globes and that is why I picked up this bag of this terrible mess this stuff. Normally I would never be caught dead spending money on this, but you know, it's the Christmas season and we need some fake snow. So, uh, just, just God bless us with this right here. Okay. It's going right into the snow globes and we are going to glue these babies shut so that this snow stuff does not end up all over the place. And then I picked up some more of the little mini crafting trees from the Dollar Tree. So cute. You can never have enough of these. They're just too tiny and too cute. And then look at how cute these solar powered Christmas light 
ornaments. I don't know if they're ornaments. I'm not using them for ornaments. I'm just going to use them just randomly in the playroom or maybe on my Christmas tier tray. I don't know yet. But damn me for not picking up some more because they're just so cute. I only found them in the green color. I don't know if they had red or anything else. But the green is so cute and they light up. I'll show you guys. And then I picked up three of these Nutcracker guys. I'm going to rip off the hair and just paint them, spray paint them. So they're going to be all one color. I think I'm going to do a nice like hunter green color, like darker than this green. Or maybe that same green, but just spray paint them all so that they're all just uniform and so cute. I'll show you guys that and I'm sure one of my videos coming up here. And then I picked up this Christmas balloon. It just says the word Christmas. This came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know how good of quality that's gonna be, but we shall see. And then um, just a pack of gingerbread stickers. My daughter loves to stick stickers everywhere, on doors, on floors, on walls, everywhere. So she'll have fun with those and maybe we can stick a couple on some people's uh, on some family's Christmas cards. And that was all that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Small little cute haul, inexpensive, and I'm happy with everything that I found. We are in the beginning stages of getting all of our Christmas decor out, so this place is a total mess. I wanted to go ahead and film all of the decor that I picked up for this year before we obviously start decorating. So now that I got this video all done, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating, get this place in order, and then I will work on editing this video and get it up for you guys. The next video that you'll see from me after this one will be my Christmas coffee station and Christmas tiered tray decor. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I do upload some more Christmas fun videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. I got work to do here. Bye. Just kidding, hi, welcome back. We are here again. After I filmed that video, I went back to the store. I started putting up my decor and I was like, you know what? I just feel like I need some more greenery in my life. I really went looking for garlands at Joann's but I didn't find any that I was really happy with so I'm still looking for some more garland. Um, but yes, I picked up some more greenery. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in this video just because I'm not doing a second haul video. This is gonna be my only haul for this Christmas season. Um, but these trees, of course, I picked up at Target. They're only $3 each, which is such a steal because they're such, I feel like they're made of good quality and they're so stinking cute. Um, but I'm so glad that I went back to the Target dollar spot because when I went um, for some more of these trees, they only had like the burlap ones, which are the ones that I already have. But this, these colors, this hunter green, not so much the black, but the hunter green, I am obsessed with this uh, Christmas season and you will definitely see that in my living room decor so this goes perfect I'm doing wood color in my living room with the hunter green and then some real greenery colors like actual leaves and greenery but yeah you guys will see that it looks so cute I've already started decorating sneak peek eh. and then of course I had to make another stop at Joann's just to grab a bunch of greenery fillers and stems and picks and things like that um, like I said I did go looking for garland but I didn't find any that I was super obsessed with so I held off uh, but these are just their holiday stems originally $12.99 but they were doing like 70% off I think or 650% off I don't know um, everything was pretty much on sale and look at how cute they are I needed these for my galvanized uh, tins that I have I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in there as filler but I like how they're kind of frosted not too much uh, flocking but just enough and it looks so cute bunch more stems and picks that I picked up from Joann's these ones over here looks so these look so realistic I just cannot this is exactly what I was looking for this is the vibe that I'm going for in my living room and I think I'm kind of just like Breckenridge Colorado inspired but 
They were so perfect. I only found two of them and I was so mad, but, um, plus their, their like holiday pick section was a disaster after like black, black Friday. I can't even talk today after like black, <laughs> oh my God. after black Friday, everything was like ransacked and just crazy. So nothing was like in its spot. So I spent a couple minutes trying to look for more, but these were the only two that I could find out of that mess. So maybe I'll go back, but I don't know, but they, I just love how realistic they are. And then I picked up two of these ones. And then this one here with the cranberries and a little bit of flocking. So cute. And then I picked up this wreath. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it was like hanging off the aisle when I was standing in in line for checkout <laughs> and I said "Ooh, this is cute and I just threw it in my cart so everything was like half off I think either half off or like 70% like I said I don't know um, but I didn't pay full price for anything so I love that I love that so cute and then here are just a couple of random items that I picked up this little wood with the deer on it is just I'm done. I can't. Too freaking cute. And then so is this little antler. I'm obsessed. Woodland Lodge. And that is the vibe that I'm going for for my living room. Woodland Lodge. Yes. And then I picked up this ribbon. I'm going to be putting this ribbon around. Um, I have deers. I'm going to be putting it around their neck. It's kind of like tying it like a bow. I don't know. Maybe we can use it for something else too, but I just had to pick it up and it was half off. So it was $5. And then I picked up this pack of just little deers. I don't even know what they are. Are they little deers? I don't know. They're just little woodland creatures. And I thought that I could just kind of stick them around in my living room and they're so cute. I love how they have like the real sticks for antlers. So rustic and woodland vibe. how can you go into Joann's without picking up some kind of craft <laughs> to paint so I found these wooden stands so cute I think this guy is going to be hunter green and then these trees are just going to be different shades of green so cute I love it so I'm going to have fun painting those and then I picked up a couple of these for my kids I don't know if my son would really be interested um, but I know my daughter would so I used to love doing these in Girl Scouts, and I figured that this could be a fun, nostalgic activity to do with the kids together. So cute. So I picked up a little Santa. This is a reindeer, and then a snowman. And if you don't know, you put these beads on the little plastic platform it gives you, and then once you have them in the shape and the colors exactly the way that the picture shows you. You go ahead and you stick like parchment paper on top and then you iron it. And it's a little cute ornament that you can use for the tree. So cute. thing that I picked up from Joann's is this big bag of holiday cinnamon scented pine cones. This also was up at the front line during checkout and it was only $2.99 so I threw it in the cart. I figured I can like throw this in a galvanized tin and just kind of look super rustic. <laughs> the scent of these reminds me exactly of the um, cinnamon brooms that you get from like Publix and the grocery stores around fall time. Um, so we are just replacing the brooms with the pine cones to smell up the living room. And it definitely does the job because my whole living room smells like holiday cinnamon. <laughs> 